It's official. So maybe we just ask your reaction to the wedding, please, sir. It's obviously thrilled. Practicing for long enough. <laughs> Prince William and his longtime love, a commoner, Kate Middleton, are to be married. They make a lovely couple. They're great fun to be with, and we've had a lot of laughs together. We wish them every happiness for the future. They'll wed next year, 30 years after the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana, watched by a billion people. Diana was loved by the British, and the comparisons will be there. She's prepared to put herself second to the job in a way, for example, that Diana was never willing to do. But Kate is her own woman. She's athletic and quietly confident, and she'll be getting married later at 29 years old. She's used to life in the public eye. For years, the paparazzi have been relentless. The on and off relationship, a constant, but never a done deal. Now London is in a frenzy with the news, the congratulations pouring in. I'm sure that the whole country will want to pass their very best wishes to the happy couple and wish them an incredibly long and happy life together. In this case, what's good for the royals could be good for England, suffering from the blues of an economic slump. Wow. It's remarkable how similar it is to the moment when Charles and Diana got married, which was another time of tremendous economic depression, you know, in the, in the 80s. And this is happening again. And I actually believe that helps to factor in to say, let's blow it out with a royal wedding. A royal wedding likely rivaling that of his parents in pomp and popularity. Lara Satrakian, ABC News, London.